Feel free to go crazy for Taylor Swift. <laughs> Screaming Taylor Swift fans out. Lovely to have you here. Taylor Swift, ladies and gentlemen, come and uh, make yourself comfortable. Wow, now we have some young people in screaming every time your name is mentioned. I know, I love that. What's the name for the Swift fans? Because we had Justin Bieber on a few weeks ago and his fans are called Bleebers. I know. What are your fans called? Um, they they kind of named themselves and I, they call themselves Swifties, which is Swifties. so cute. Swifties. I thought it was cute. Swifties. Okay, well, I, I'd like to think I'm on my way to becoming a Swifty. Really? <laughs> That's amazing. I've wanted to be on your show for so long. Wow. Yeah, everybody talks about it. They're like, Jonathan Ross is so lovely. These would be French people, or what? No. No. Okay, so you've just come from France, haven't you? Yeah, so actually, we were... Um, I was in Paris doing a music video, and I got to go to a fashion show. Wow, because it's uh, Fashion Week over there, isn't it? Or it's just yeah. been? Okay, how was that? It was beautiful. Beautiful dresses, and... Um, yeah, I, I knew it was Fashion Week because I was going there for Fashion Week, but you don't realise, like, the models are all there. Of course, because they would be for Fashion Week, but I suppose... Uh, <laughs> but yeah. you'd forget that on the way, then. But, uh, like, I didn't realise they were, like, they're, they're all staying in the same hotels as, as like, people that aren't models. Oh. And, um... Because you'd think they'd have one with just very thin doors and stuff like that, wouldn't you? I what I thought, or they like sleep on clouds or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But like, I um, I was going to the gym because I was trying to like run off the jet lag. I walk in and there's a model, wow. like a real one, and, <laughs> and she's like on the treadmill, right? And she's running like faster than a racehorse would run, so like six, like I don't know, eighty miles an hour probably. Yeah. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah. So she's top speed. Top speed, and not breathing heavy at all. She's like... <laughs> and I'm on the elliptical, which is kind of like... That's the lazy person's running machine, isn't it? And I hate it. Mm. And you can see in my face that I hate it, and you can hear that I hate it, and I'm like... <gasps> <gasps> and she keeps running like that for, like, 30 minutes. Wow. And then she has this, like, Italian boyfriend come in, and he's, like, incredibly good-looking, and they're both good-looking, and he, I swear leans over the bar of the treadmill and, and, they, and they start making out while she's running this fast. Wow. <laughs> That's the most annoying woman on the planet, isn't it? And I just wanted to be like, you win. You already won. <laughs> but look at you, there's nothing of you. you. You're like a model as well, and you've done modeling work, I guess, haven't oh, you, Taylor? No, yeah, no, come I haven't. On. That's nice of you. I can't run like they do. Taylor, that. honestly, you're not bad looking. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I wouldn't just say that. Thank you for saying that. When you travel these places, do you have um, friends and family with you, or is it very much just a kind of a professional thing? Well, I don't really see my family if I don't have them come along sometimes. Um, so I have... I'll be like, hey, Dad, you come on this trip. Hey, Mom, come on this trip. Uh, hey, Austin, my brother who's in college, come on this trip. And he's like, no, I really don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. We had a picture there of you. That was you when you were... Is that you 11 or 12? That was actually singing a national anthem at an a NBA game. So you knew you had a voice, I guess. You just had to persuade the rest of the world. You had to get out there. You, so you were 11, 12 when you started. How long did it take you to get uh, the interest from the, the business? How long before you got signed by someone? I was, like, 14 when I got a publishing deal for my songwriting. But, I mean, from the point when I was, like, 9 years old, I was obsessed with theatre and children's theatre and... I loved telling a story on stage, whether it was with acting or singing or performing. But it really got crazy when I just... I started playing guitar when I was 12, and that's when I started writing songs. And that's kind of the point where it became all I wanted to do. I know you write quite a lot about songs, and you don't necessarily know specifics, but a lot of um, uh, Taylor's songs are about breakups. Yes. And relationships. Yes. And you seem, if you don't mind me saying so, you seem to have had more than your fair share of breakups. <laughs> yeah. There have been a few. Who are you seeing at the moment? Um, I don't really talk about that. I just well, why kinda... not? What's wrong with you? Be... <laughs> <laughs> what, are you because... ashamed of him? What is he, a weird-looking fella? Oh, no. Um... He's a good-looking boy. Mm -hmm. No, oh. I'm just... I mean, I don't really... I don't really talk about my personal life because it's sort of like... It goes boom. It, it goes everywhere, yeah. and then it gets turned into all these other things, and it's like, I would much rather my personal life be sung about I think it sounds nicer that way, rather yeah. than me talking about it in some magazine article or something. It, but if this guy you're with at the moment, say, if it turns out to be just a happy relationship, 
then that kind of ends... Don't ask me that question. The question makes me so sad. But you see, but you're getting these great songs out of breakups. Oh, come on. <laughs> Do you really want to be in no, a relationship? Come, no, OK, this I is like... maybe you don't want to release it for, like, 15 years. Get about four or five more albums out of Heartbreak, <laughs> then settle down. Does that not make sense? That's a pretty good game plan for you, Taylor. Mm -hmm. You can thank me later. You're... Yeah. <laughs> OK. Uh, you must know, I guess, or you must have a feeling when you've written something. And we have, um, I know you're familiar with the, the guys we have this evening, but Gary Barlow's written some of the best pop songs uh, for the last 20 years in this country. He really has written some incredible songs. And I mean that, Gary, I really do. Uh, and you've written some great songs as well. And the new single. Right he now. doesn't, he always yeah, he thinks, <laughs> he, no, he always thinks I'm going to be mean after this, don't you? Come in, something's yeah. arriving. Oh, sorry, I meant Robbie. Anyway. Um, <laughs> it's only, I didn't mean that, you made me do that. He's not cute, he's old enough to be your father. No, I meant the, the, the flirtation. Between me and Gary? Yeah. I know. I preferred you when you were cuddly. <laughs> I, felt, I felt less threatened. <laughs> he's like a gazelle now. You know, he, he used to be 400 pounds. I don't know if you're serious. He's, no, he was 400 pounds. We had him on the show once, we had to knock a wall down to get were him out you... again. It's serious. Uh, is that he the was, actual number? He's 402. He you look great. Thank you. Thank you. Things you know, are going you know well. take that. Initially, it was just him. <laughs> and then when he lost the weight, they had to get these other guys in, it... in including a break dancer. I'm coming back out in a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gary, you know it. Anyway, the new single... Uh, the, uh, have you heard Taylor's new single? Anyone <laughs> The minute you hear it, you know it's a hit. It's a great song. Thank you so much it's for saying that. It's a great song. It's doing well. It's, things are good. It's number four over here. I think it's even going to knock Gang Gang off the top of the chart. <laughs> uh, here's a taster. And that immediately catchy. The first time you hear it, you're singing it. What a great Thank song. You. And that is about, I guess, a breakup. A specific breakup? Yes. Not like a compilation of all of them. No. Because you've just had a few, one. as we've said. Uh, which, <laughs> the most recent one or one of the older ones? See, you could do that. Just store them all in a case when you need a breakup, go back to one of the old ones again. That, I thought about that. Okay. You just stockpile all the pain and you just draw from it later. Do you think, Taylor, that you, and I don't know whether you feel you have fallen in love, and I'm not going to ask that, but do you think that you do maybe get into a relationship too readily? Do you give too much of yourself too soon? Would that be why this keeps happening? I don't know why people think that. People think that about me. That's like I think of... Because you've had so many f***ing breakups. That's why. <laughs> why are you... Why do you not know we think that? I mean, I just think if you, if you think too hard about it and it takes you a long time to fall in love with someone, you're not in love, love. That's true. So the first, wow, she's great, and, and you do... And you, you're there. You're there in the moment. Yeah. That's a lovely thing. Yeah, I, I have a lot of rules placed on my life, and I just choose not to apply rules to love. Well, that's, I think, a very, in a way, a very sane way to proceed, even though it does leave you open to, let's face it, more hit singles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the downside of it. Stephen, don't you shake your head at me like a wise old puffin. <laughs> Uh, how lovely to have you here. Uh, Taylor's new album, Red, is out, I think, on the 22nd of October. And there's a lovely photograph on the cover right there. A uh, super talent and a great guest. Ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Taylor Swift. <laughs> Thank you so much.